This is Uhuru Zem News. Breaking news, Olu of Wari, abolishes Olag Bashran title in Wari Kingdom. Okie Machawaste III made the declaration during a meeting with descendants of the Olag Bashran family at his palace in Wari South local government area of Delta State. The monarch also told all sons and daughters of Wari Kingdom to forthwith cease addressing Amami as the Olag Basharan. There is no Olag Basharan title again. The head of the Olag Basharan family can answer the nickname. It is the pronouncement of the king in Ichikiri Nation. There will be peace, blessings in the land. There is no Olag Basharan again. Nobody should parade in that title. You remember the king dissolved the Council of Chiefs and have been readmitting and revalidating titles, and has also reconstituted the Council of Chiefs. Nobody should relate with anyone in the title as Olag Basharan. Amami was illegally suspended by the Kinawa, I ruling house in the build-up to the selection of Olu designate. He had opposed the selection process that threw up Tsola Imiko as the Olu designate, citing provisions in the 1979 edict. Olag Basharan of Wari says monarch's action is of no effect. To Chief Ayurini Amami, the abolition of his office as the Olag Basharan is of no consequence or effect. Chief Amami made declaration in a swift reaction to a pronouncement by the Olu of Wari, Okiam Achawats III, abolishing the Olag Basharan traditional title in Wari Kingdom. When contacted by our reporter, Chief Amami said the pronouncement made at the Agofan Palace within Wari Metropolis will not affect him. He said, As far as I am concerned, we are in court and I do not recognize him as the Olu of Wari. He was neither properly selected nor crowned. So, he cannot parade himself as the Olu of Wari. To me, he remains Prince Tsola Imiko and not the Olu of Wari. His action, stripping him of the title, shows that he was not properly crowned because if he was, he would know the implication of what he is doing. The throne of the Olu of Wari cannot be for sale to the highest bidder and we will see to that. He told our reporter yesterday that the next line of his battle with the popular monarch would be to stop him from parading himself as the Olu of Wari. Chief Amami told his supporters to remain calm, stating that the battle has only shifted to a higher gear. The unfolding development is the culmination of a long seething war between the monarch and Chief Ayuri Amami, whose disqualification of the monarch from the contest to pick the 21st Olu in April led to an uproar. The battle degenerated further when the chief spurned an invitation from the palace to chiefs and other traditional title holders of the kingdom to revalidate their titles by paying homage to the new monarch. Before the invitation, Chief Amami had dragged the monarch to court, challenging his position as the occupant of the coveted throne on the ground that he was not qualified on the basis of an extant edict. For those who understand Ichikar, please listen to the pronouncement by the Olu of Wari. Yeah.